<laughs> Benvenuto, welcome to Cherry Hill Home Cooking. My name is Mark. Uh, today, once again, we're going to go back to the 1970s and we're going to make something that my mother made quite frequently over the summer holidays, and it's a War Dolph salad. I always have a problem saying that. War Dolph salad. No. War <laughs> Waldorf salad. Um, okay, now, again, some of you may have heard of this. Some of you may have made it. Um, if you have um, and you haven't made it in a while, I would definitely um, take out uh, that big bowl and throw these ingredients together uh, because this is really a nice, refreshing, easy salad. You can use this as a, as a, a lunch. You can put it on a brunch table. Um, also, it makes a fantastic um, side dish, uh, you know, especially on the summertime. During the summertime, you want something a little cool. Uh, use this. It goes perfectly with any kind of chicken or pork. All right. So what we need is we need some apples. All right. Now you can use any type of apples you want. I happen to be using honey uh, crisp apples today. Um, if you want it to be um, a little more tart, you'd maybe use a Granny Smith if you like it a little sweeter. Um, maybe a Cosmic Crisp or um, um, any kind of apple you like. Anyway, like I said, we're going to use um, honey crisp today. You need about a cup and a half of grapes, okay? And we need some salt, pepper, and some sugar. Uh, of course, the measurements will be in the recipe. Wade will write that all down. Uh, we need some celery. We're going to probably need between two and three big stalks of celery. We need a tablespoon of um, lemon juice, uh, which that'll help keep our apples from turning uh, brown or oxidizing. Um, we need a third of a cup of mayonnaise, third of a cup of uh, plain Greek yogurt, and we're gonna roast um, about half a cup of walnuts. Um, all right, so, of course with the grapes, really easy. Um, you could use, put them in whole. I think it uh, gives the texture and more balance to it if you cut them in half. So you're just gonna cut your grapes in half. You can quarter them if you like, but I find, of course, the seedless grapes, guys, you don't want to put seeded grapes in there. That would be a pain in the neck. I won't bore you with watching you all, having you watch me um, cut a cup and a half of grapes in, but you get the idea. Uh, of course, with the celery uh, as well, we're just going to chop it up. And you want it, you know, little bite-sized pieces, maybe a little bit less because it's celery. I think that's just about a good size, maybe a quarter of an inch. You yeah, might as well cut this up. The nice thing about this salad is um, you can eat it right away, right after you've thrown it together. I do like to put it in the refrigerator for a little bit just to get it a little chilled down, but you don't have to. All right. Um, we got our walnuts here. We'll, um, you know, just roughly chop them. You don't have to mince them. Put in any of the big pieces. Chop them in. Chop them like that. You might as well put those all there. All right, so I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna make you watch me do all of this, but one thing I am gonna do is um, roast our walnuts. So you want a heavy bottom pan, a dry pan, um, and uh, th this is something you need to stay uh, really close and, and uh, stir them because it's only going to take a few um, moments for them to get roasted. And if you leave them, walk away, they're also going to burn really quick. So on medium heat, you want to get that to um, temperature. All right, so with the apples, really easy. You're going to leave them, um, the skins on. I kind of cut it in half, quarter it, and then I go back and just cut out the um, core part. I'm not going to cut all of those because we're not quite ready to put them in our dressing because I want to go over. So and then, again, cut those into bite-sized pieces. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside. So you got the idea on that. Of course, you can peel them if you want. You can cut them into bigger pieces. It's your salad. You can do anything you want with it. All 
So again, the important thing with the um, walnuts is we want to get our pan hot. It's in a dry pan. And one other thing, if you are going to um, kind of put this in the fridge and let it um, uh, crisp up or get colder, um, you could do your walnuts as you've prepared these. You can't put them in the salad hot anyway. You don't want them to be hot when you put them in there. So they're going to cool down. But if you put the wall, I, I would suggest throw the rest of your salad together, roast the walnuts, put the walnuts, uh, the walnuts aside, and then uh, right before you serve it, throw the walnuts in. Um, of course, the roasting is going to bring out the, um, the aroma and... Um, give it that little tiny caramelized taste. Of course, you need a big bowl too, guys, um, to get all your greens together. So you're probably going to need about four um, small apples or at least two large ones. I'm probably just going to use two. I won't use all three of these. Um, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> so then I just want to get those thrown in there. And again, the, uh, the, of course, the walnuts have a lot of... Uh, of their own natural oil in there. So really all you want to do is cook these till you start to smell the walnuts and that's probably going to take a minute, minute and a half. But again I would stand here and watch them or be close. They might take on a little bit of color. Chop up the rest of these apples while we're waiting. Tell me as soon as you can smell them, wait. Nothing yet. How long does it take? It's going to take a minute or so, depending upon how accurate your heat source is and how hot you are when it's on medium. but you do want to get them toasted. Could it be easier? And the good thing about roasting the um, walnuts is you can actually say you cook something because since the rest of this we're not really cooking. See, I can start to, now I can, I'm smelling walnuts. And we just probably another 10. I just wanted to cut that one in half. Won't, would not cut for me. I'll get them later. And I, again, yep. See now, now I can I can really start to smell it. You just start to it smells like walnuts, like toasted walnuts. And they they just they do kind of just uh, take on a little bit drier look to them. I don't know if you can see all of that, but those are done. So then we want to take them off the heat and. Put them on the plate to cool. You can see a little bit of, you know, the the smaller crummy pieces browned up a little bit. All right, that. Oops, that is it. All right, I'm going to finish cutting up my apples and my grapes, and we'll come back and we'll um, put the sauce together, uh, the dressing together, and um, we'll be done. See you in a little bit.
Okay, we got up all of our ingredients cut um, up. I'm going to put my mayonnaise. And and our sour cream. Come out of there. All right, and then we got um, our salt and pepper and uh, sugar. Let's just. Give that a pretty good mix. And then we want, like I said, we want about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Go. Mix that together. I'm going to give that a quick taste just to make sure our salt is pretty good. Mmm, delicious. A Waldorf salad is a little bit sweet, a little bit savory. Delicious. All right, so let's get our apples in. So, you know, typically you would um, serve this on like... Um, a bed of lettuce or something like that. Um, I like to just eat it. I never eat the lettuce anyway. I can see I got a seed in there. Let's get him out of there. Now he doesn't want to come out. It's only a small one. I found it. I'll find it in a minute. Let's toss those around a bit. All right, then we got our grapes. Now, like I said, I'm going to let this chill for a little bit, so I'm not going to add our walnuts. Probably won't show you me adding the walnuts, but right before I serve it, I'm going to throw the walnuts in and we'll give it a stir and it will be ready to eat. And while we let it sit for a little bit and chill down a bit, the, of course, everything's going to absorb our nice dressing. I don't know how that got away, but okay, at least that's what we look like at this point. So like I said, I'm going to cover it, throw it in the refrigerator for half hour to an hour. Then we'll add the um, walnuts and we're ready to eat. See you then. Okay, guys, we've been in the refrigerator for about an hour and uh, Wade wanted me to put the walnuts in and film it while we uh, tossed it in. So we got our roasted walnuts. And we're just going to toss those around in there. And I'm going to taste an apple for seasoning. Mm, yum, yum. Delicious, of course. All right, so really the only, the last step to do is put it in a slightly more attractive bowl. And you're instantly transported back to 1972, 73. You're outside in your mid-century modern modern home, which is actually what we have, is a mid-century modern L-shaped ranch. Mm. 
Let's wipe off our little mess I made on the side. <laughs> All right. And there we have our Waldorf salad. Oh, those walnuts are delicious roasted like that. Okay, once again, now the best part, getting to eat what we've made. Um, we did two episodes uh, today, so we're going to do a double tasting. Uh, yep. Shall we go for our Wardolf sound? War, Wardolf? <laughs> I don't think that's Ward, the name. Wardolf? Well, Waldorf. Waldorf sound. <laughs> Mmm, trying to get a little piece of everything in a bite. Mm. Okay, well, mmm. 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 It's just, it's different. It's not sweet. It's not yeah. savory. It's kind of in between. Mm. It really is a like nice, that. refreshing um, little salad. I think mean, mm. Peppa gives it a nice little, little, little tiny mm. bit of that. Background heat, delicious. Mm. Again, you can, this makes a great light lunch. It's good on a brunch table. It's excellent with um, barbecue chicken. Mm. Um, please check it out. Wow, oh. take one more bite. This is worth it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. It's just it's kind of hard to describe, but it tastes like. Mm. Mm. Other than delicious. And we got our mm. Watergate salad that we have garnished with a little maraschino cherry mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> half of pecan. All right. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mm. This is delicious too. Very tasty. Mm. Every time I, I make this, it's kind of like mm. I'm a teenager again. Yeah. Mm. I can remember having this with pineapple in it too. Mm, pineapple, yeah. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you must not have gotten to the pineapple yet. Mm. Yeah, remember you, you videoed it and you put a whole 20 ounce can of crushed pineapples in there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I think mm. it's possible that I've made it one time without and I couldn't get the crushed mm. pineapple, so I did the the bigger chunks, so anyway. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. I think it's a little good. One big bite. Mmm. -hmm. Simple salad to me. Mm. So simple. Few ingredients. And be so tasty. Mmm. Well, I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed uh, cooking along with us today. I hope even more that you'll try one of um, our salad and let us know what you think. Mm. A five of ten. Mm, yep. Mm. You won't be disappointed. Please um, hope you like and subscribe and uh, check out cherryhillhomecooking.com and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Mm, yummy. Mm. Mm. I think I'll do this for the um, fourth too. Mm. Mm. Thank you.